In this English lesson, I wanted to help you learn the English phrase to boot. This is a phrase that we add to the end of a sentence sometimes, and it means in addition to. So I could say this, it's windy out today and it might rain to boot. Or I could say I bought a new camera and they gave me a camera bag for free to boot. That means that it's windy, but it's also going to rain. So in addition to the wind, it's going to rain. And in, in addition to the camera I got, I got a camera bag to boot. So it just means uh, in addition to or something extra that happened or that you got. So that's what to boot means. The other phrase I wanted to teach you today is the phrase to boot out. When you boot someone out, it means you ask them to leave or you tell them they have to leave. If you stay in a store until closing, eventually they will boot you out. They will tell you that you have to leave. They don't actually kick you. I think this phrase comes from, you know, the act of kicking someone so that your their boot would hit you in the butt. Uh, but definitely when you boot someone out, it means that you are telling them they have to leave. Sometimes at the end of the school day, around five o'clock, we are closing the school. And so we boot out any students who are still there. We tell them you need to leave now because we are locking up the building. So to review, when you say to boot at the end of a sentence, it means in addition to. So you could say something like this. My mom gave me a free meal the other day. She gave me a pizza and she gave me some apple pie to boot. That means in addition to the pizza, she also gave you apple pie. And the phrase to boot out simply means to tell someone that they need to leave and then ensure that they do leave. So definitely uh, if you go out to eat and if the restaurant closes at 11 p.m. and you're still there, they will probably boot you out. But hey, let's look at a comment from a previous video. I can't find my comment. I have too many pockets in my shorts. This comment is from Alexi. Alexi says, but be careful. There are people who will tell you the whole long story of their life if you ask them what's new. This is from the lesson the other day on the phrase, what's new and what else is new. Um, and the most dangerous thing would be to ask them at the end of the monologue, what else is new? And my response was this. In English, we would say that person is hard to get away from, or we might say they'll talk your ear off. I haven't been in many social situations for the last year, but I remember a few people that would fit that description. So yes, there are definitely people in the world uh, who are hard to get away from. That means that when you engage them in conversation, when you start talking to them, it's hard to leave. They just never seem to stop talking and the conversation doesn't seem to end. That can be very challenging. And we also say that that type of person will talk your ear off. I have to admit, I can be that kind of person. In small social situations, I don't like big social gatherings, but in small social situations, if I'm just sitting around a campfire talking with people I know well, there's a chance I might talk your ear off. You might leave that gathering and say, wow, it's actually really hard to get away from Bob. Once he starts talking, it's a little hard to get away from him. Hey, I did a video earlier this week on the wind and it's still windy here. I'm trying to hold my camera as steady as possible, but you can see in the trees behind me that the wind is still blowing. Uh, it's just been windy for days on end and it shows no sign of letting up. I think I should move over here and get out of the wind again. But certainly it's a little strange for us here. It's usually windy every couple of days, but lately it has been windy every single day. Anyways, Bob the Canadian here. Thank you for watching this little English lesson. Hope you liked it. I'll join you again in a couple days with another one. Bye.